Right, so we turned it round now, and yes, it was like a banana, partly due to the heat, basically. But what we've done is we've put bolts into the holes that we want to try and true up, and now you can see... <coughs> uh, I'll tell you what, this is how I did it. So you get your tri-square in place, like this, sorry. Get your tri-square in place, and then you can see the, the height. <laughs> it's... Uh, I'm in trouble start. Oh, there you go. <coughs> so, and what we do is, and you might have to like, you know, I might have to just show you the left hand one, but the way it works is, you can see, and okay, it's it's inches, and you're not going to be able to see that, you know, because it's not going to show it, but basically it's showing where it's crossing on the, uh, and you can see that they're all crossing at the same point. See? Exactly the same point. That's that one. If I can do it. I'm trying to line it up so that the right hand lens shows it. There you go. So you can see now. Yeah? As the other one comes round. Yeah? And then if I actually start it up. Whee! Fell off. But you can see, if I line up the left hand lens, you can see that there's like a a kind of a, where is it, oh, there it is, yeah, you'll see that there's like a virtual bolt, it looks like it's a ghost, and that's because the, uh, it, they're all three at the same point, you see, yeah, and the, the, the disc itself is relatively, if I do it that way then maybe, <coughs> and you can see that the disc is relatively true now, isn't it? And then you can see the bolts. So what we've done is basically is we've just simply rebent it back into place. I hope we haven't messed it up. So a look. Ooh. So a look. Uh, no, it's not bad that is it? Eh? For a Wix. There we go. Anyway. <coughs> so now what we need to do is get this working on a real engine. So yeah.